Hey everybody, this is Jason back finally with another movie review. Um, just been busy doing normal uh, stuff, but I'm back. Um, and today, here let me. I am doing a classic, another classic that at least I feel is classic. And with the uh, reboot, um, next chapter in this film coming up soon. I thought this would be a perfect opportunity to uh, review this series, and I am talking about National Lampoon's Vacation, and I only have it on um, them on DVD, and I don't have the cases anymore, but I do have the um, DVDs at this point. I'm sure most of you have seen it. If not, I highly recommend it. Um, it's definitely classic. Every time it's on TV, I have to watch it. It seems like at least, even if I watch just part of it. Um, Again, this is National Lampoon's Vacation. It's the first of, I'm going to say, four in the series. And maybe down the road I'll talk about the fifth one that they did, but won't talk about that here. But there is a new one coming out very shortly, and I am looking forward to that one. Um, so basically we'll, we'll go over the uh, actors, and there's quite a few uh, great actors in this film. Definitely um, one of the best uh, casts even if some of them have a very small part. Um, obviously, the main character is Clark Griswold, and that is played by Chevy Chase. Um, Ellen Griswold, which is his wife, is played by Beverly D'Angelo. The uh, absolutely hilarious cousin Eddie is played by Randy Quaid, and he is absolutely hilarious. Rusty Griswold is the son, uh, played by Anthony Michael Hall, and uh, he by far exceeds the Rusty character in this film. So I'll just put that out there right now. He's my favorite Rusty. Eugene Levy plays the um, the uh, car dealer guy. John Candy plays at the end. He is a security guard at Wally World. And um, really, I don't... This, this totally just slips my mind is the director of this, Harold Ramis. He is the director of this. And for some reason, it always slipped my mind, you know, that he was the director of this. Um, so I love Harold Ramis. Um, and again, he directed this. And the writer of this is John Hughes. And you've seen some of his films. And he's done a lot of uh, family films. Um, but this is some of his early work right here. He wrote it. Um, okay, and so we'll go from there. Um, the music, uh, you can probably hear this, Holly Road by Lindsey Buckingham is, is great. It's a great theme to have for the movie. And uh, it is in most um, sequels as well. I guess you can call them sequels, the kind of sequels, I guess. But uh, in the very beginning, um, basically they're getting ready to go on a vacation. And, um, I mean, they can go anywhere. They can go to Hawaii. But they pick Wally World, which is a, uh, I guess what you could say is a, um, it's Disneyland, basically, is what it's supposed to be. So, um, but they go pick up a car, and this car is absolutely ridiculous. And they, they did this on purpose for the film. Um, just horrendous looking. The, the vehicle is a station wagon, and it's It's funny. They go pick up one car. This is what's funny about this scene is they, they're going to drop off their old car. They're going to pick up uh, uh, another station wagon that I guess is supposed to be okay. Um, but it's not ready. And Eugene Levy is like saying something like, um, you know, you want this over here. And what comes out of it is um, absolutely hilarious when they drive it home for the first time. Um, the airbag goes out. Uh, he shuts the car off. It's still running in the background. And uh, Ellen is like, hey, is this supposed to happen? He's like playing it off like, oh, all the new cars do this. So it's absolutely hilarious. Um, and basically, when they get on the road, um, it is the worst road trip. I mean, things happen. It's, you know, they're, they're driving from Illinois, Chicago, Illinois, somewhere around there. I think it's Chicago. But, uh, yeah, Illinois to California, Southern California, and they're taking the um, they're taking the Chevy Chase, uh, uh, 
Clark Griswold, Ellen Griswold, Rusty Griswold, and the daughter. Um, oh man, it's slipping my mind right now for some reason, but it's, it's fine. So the four people in a long distance um, trip, and you know that spells disaster. Well, along the way, they stop at their cousin. Um, I think it's, I believe it's Ellen's um, cousin. I could be totally wrong about that. Uh, I'm not exactly positive which side of the family it's on. But uh, that's when you meet um, Randy Quaid's character of Cousin Eddie. Um, you meet him and his family who is just, they have massive amount of kids. Um, you meet the two main kids that, you know, Rusty and the daughter um, meet. And these, the kids are just, just, I, I won't even say too much about this family yet. You need to watch it. It's hilarious and absolutely hilarious, you know, what goes on here. And it, just their family is not normal. Um, and even for the, uh, the Griswolds, you know, they, they've, they don't want to be there, honestly. They stop there. They don't want to be there. You know what I mean? They, they stop there anyway. It's on the way. It's in Kansas somewhere. Now, here's the funny part. Um, well, there's a lot of funny parts. But they pick up Aunt Edna. And I guess um, Cousin Eddie and his family had promised her that they're going to take her out to her son, which is in... He lives in Arizona, I think Flagstaff, Arizona, and she is the one that you don't want to be around. Um, so if you haven't seen the movie, please stop right here, watch it, because I don't want to. There's a little bit of spoiler here, um, but basically, she dies along the way, and that's all I'll get into in that part of it. She dies, and. All they can think about is going to uh, Wally World. That's, the, that's all they care about. So they, they drop her off to this uh, guy's house in Flagstaff. He's not even home. They put her up on the um, roof of the car as they're delivering her to this guy. And you're just like, wow. You know, I know it's just for fun, but... They finally make it to... Uh, finally make it to Wally World. And guess what? It's closed for two weeks. Yes. They have closed it. And... He just doesn't like it. He went all this way. So they go pick up a... Um, he, go, he goes over to some sportsman place. He picks up a BB gun. He goes back over there. And he holds up some of the security guards hostage. Which, this one, that's where you meet John Candy. And they go on some rides... Um, and then you meet, obviously by this point, they've brought in the SWAT team. Let me turn this music a little down, sorry about that. Um, the SWAT team shows up, and that's when you also meet the um, owner, Roy, um, Roy Wally, which is supposed to be basically Walt Disney. It's the, it's the Walt Disney character, um, Is so you totally get that. It's, it's an obvious ripoff, which is fine. It's hilarious. Um, if I'm not mistaken, they did this on purpose because they really wanted to film in Disney. Disney obviously wouldn't allow them. They couldn't shut down the park. Um, where they filmed this, I think, is um, Magic Mountain in California, Six Flags. And they were able to shut it down for a little bit so they can film. Um, so that's why they picked this one. But they totally ripped it off. Um... Basically, it, it all goes fine, you know. So that's basically it. It's an awesome um, road trip type movie. If you, if you love those road trip movies, you're going to love this one. Um, if you love Chevy Chase, you're going to love this one. This is one of his classics, one of his best films. And there's four of these right now. Okay, you got... And I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to review them all, all four of them, up until I get to watch the newest one, which is called vacation and that this new one comes out very soon and it's about um rusty griswold and his family and he takes them also to wally world so i'm not exactly sure if it's considered a reboot or a remake i don't think so 
but it's going to be hilarious, it sounds like. So I'm definitely looking forward to it. Um, definitely gonna looking forward to that. So basically, I think we're going to call that end on this uh, one, and I will very shortly do at least the second one, which is uh, European Vacation. Out of 10, I definitely give this a, a 8 out of 10. It is definitely rewatchable. You can watch it over and over and over. And um, definitely, please watch this. Um, one of my favorite comedies of all time. I can rewatch it all the time. Um, all right, that's it. Um, if you haven't liked my Facebook page, please do. It's www.facebook.com slash DVD Review Dude. If you just search DVD Review Dude, you'll find it. Please give that page a like. Um, subscribe here. I would appreciate it. And also, um, I would, if you guys do Periscope, I would appreciate if you follow um, DVD Review Dude at Periscope. Um, haven't done any um, videotaping on there yet. I, I want to do some live um, reviews on there with you guys, but I don't have anybody that likes it so far, so I haven't done it. But please go on there and like it. I would much appreciate it. Until next time, we'll see you guys, and um, go ahead and give this video a, a, a like, and I'll, go ahead and watch the rest of my videos. I would appreciate it very much. Have a great day, and we will see you next time.